I'm Sarah Pierce Taylor. I am a assistant um, professor in religion, literature, and visual culture. And this is my first year at the Divinity School. I was hired um, last year. So I'm really enjoying getting to know the institution and the students. My scholarship is on Jane literature from the 9th to 12th century. My interest in this material is really the ways in which the Jane community imagined radically kind of um, expansive understandings of what it means to be a human being. And for a tradition that's really focused or kind of stereotyped as being focused on asceticism and otherworldliness, the Janes actually turn out to be really interested in what it means to be in the world and in a body. And I guess my hope in thinking through this project and thinking through this material is to actually sort of um, produce a provocation to what is the actual terrain of contemporary critical theory and that religion is often uh, a topic that isn't part of the mainstream of something like queer theory or disability studies and that actually religion is a place where one's sexuality and one's embodiment have uh, ro have been robust areas of inquiry and thought. What I find makes the Divinity School so special is that unlike other institutions that I've been at where there's been a division between divinity and the study of religion, at the University of Chicago, we're it. This is where you go if you're interested in talking about religion. And one of the effects that that's had in my classes is just the Divinity School is a meeting place for students all over campus. And I think this really enlivens the space of the Divinity School. So in any class, I'll have students from theology, I'll have MDiv students, I'll have MA students, I'll have PhD students from the Divinity School, but also from anthropology, cinema and media st uh, studies, English, just a wide, wide range of students come together. And I think that that makes the Divinity School just an incredibly dynamic place. So my approach to um, working with students is really informed by my own experience with my advisor during my MA program, Ann Monius, and she really made a point of tailoring my educational experience to my interests and needs. And so I really try to do that with my students through um, really close advising and mentoring, independent studies, um, et cetera. And I think I really try to meet my students holistically where they are. Um, and you know, my students aren't just students, right? They're not robots who come into my office and into my classroom, but they're people and they're motivated by dreams, desires, certain kinds of commitments um, that I think are really important to recognize and teach to. Um, because of the topics that I work on and the interests that I have, which include things like disability studies and queer theory, um, I also find that students take my classes for really personal um, reasons and that the personal has to be a part of the classroom and has to be a part of uh, any kind of intellectual discussion on these topics. Um, and so yeah, I guess I would say that my, my approach to sort of working with students is hands-on, holistic, um, and also just to try and um, you know, make sure that students get what they came for, right? It's like you come to the Divinity School with certain goals in mind. It may be that you want to get a PhD. It may be that you want to work for an NGO, um, but that we really have an ethical responsibility to help shape and guide you um, in a graduate program that meets your needs.